In this recast, I'm going to show you how to download images on your Chromebook. So here's a situation I've run into. I'm creating a video in Animoto, which is a website. And when I go there, it says here I can add pics and videos. When I click on that, I see that the choices are I can upload pictures and video or all of these other services that I might not have access to on my Chromebook. The choice I'm going to end up using is upload pictures and video. But first, I want to show you how to get pictures either into Google Drive or onto your Chromebook so that when you come here, that this will work. When you start your school Chromebook, uh, you're presented at the Franklin Student Links page. If you scroll down, there's some students at Frank Franklin Tech. When you go to Student Franklin Tech, these are a bunch of different tech resources that we have available for students. And one of the choices here is image resources. This image resources is a list of different websites that host stock photos, clip art, uh, things that you might find when you're just trying to find generic images. So let's show this. Uh, we'll, we'll go to the Photos public domain website. And let's say you had read a book and you're making a book trailer in Animoto. And so you're looking for an image. Maybe your book was about baseball. Let's see what let's see what's here in terms of baseball. So I use the search up at the top of the website. And let's see if I find any pictures. OK, so here's a baseball field, an actual picture of a softball and a baseball scoreboard. Let's use the scoreboard picture. So I'm going to click through to that picture. And just like any project, even though these are public domain photos, you want to make sure that you cite where you got your images from. Now, fortunately, on your Chromebook, we have added the EasyBib extension up here. So when you click on EasyBib, uh, you can log in. And when you go to log into EasyBib, one of the choices there will be to sign in with your Google account, which I already did. Um, that was a step before this. I had clicked on sign in with my Google account. So now when I'm here at my picture, I can very simply click this, click Cite on EasyBib. It'll pop open a window. What I like about this is I can kind of place this window next to all the details about the thing that I'm going to think I'm going to cite. So here, if I was citing this source type, I would choose this as a digital image. And then it's going to adjust the form so that I can fill out the details of this digital image. So this it's already sensed the title is Baseball Scoreboard. And it doesn't look like there's an author listed here. Uh, nope, no author listed. So I can leave that blank. Website title. Now, it pulled in the wrong name here. It pulled in picture. The actual website title is Photos Public Domain. So I would still type that in. Photos Public Domain. Publisher sponsor. I don't think I see any here on a public domain photo. Again, I'm looking at the information under the photos or down here in the license. I don't see anything about publisher sponsor URL. It did pull that in. Display the URL. I'm going to click yes so that my teacher or anyone who looks at this can follow this back if they want to see where I got my photos from. Electronically published. Usually there's a date with photos, although I don't see one with this one. It might say what date it was published. Uh, then the date is today that I'm, I'm creating this. So there's all my information. So using EasyBib is as quickly as that. I'm going to click Create Citation. And that's going to get stored in my EasyBib account. So here's the citation that's created. And I can continuously add to that as I go find other photos. I just point that out because it is good to remember to cite your photos or your websites. Uh, and we put the EasyBib tool there for you so that that can be easy. OK, so this picture. Let's say I want to use this picture. If I do a two-finger tap on my Chromebook, I can do Save Image As. Now, this opens up two possible places that I could save this. I could save it right into my Google Drive. If you click on the My Drive folder, it'll save. Uh, it says here, this is the file name. Now, if you're going to be saving a bunch of photos, I would recommend clicking this New Folder button and then save them all in one folder. So then when you go upload them into the service later, I'll call this Animoto Picks. And hit Return there. I'll click on that folder. And I'll click Save. So that's one photo that I've gotten for my project. Let's show another way. Let's say I just want to do a regular Google search. And let's say I'm looking for the, let's say my book was about something that happened in a jungle. So I'm going to look for a jungle picture. I type in jungle. I click on images at my Google search. Now, here's one thing that's important to remember. It is good when you're using Google to find images that are available for reuse. We don't know if these images are copyrighted. So in order to do that, after I do my search, I'm going to click on Search Tools. And for Usage Rights, I'm going to change this to Labeled for Reuse. So now any of these pictures that come back in the search are pictures that were uploaded, and the person who posted them gave permission for them to be reused. 
So let's say I want to use this picture. When I click the picture, it'll expand. I can visit the page that the picture is hosted on. That's probably good. If I'm going to cite this, that's probably where all the information is. If I do view image, that just shows me the actual picture. I'm going to go to the actual page. And let's scroll around on that page and see when I go to cite this, if there's information that I can use in my citation. Oh, this is perfect. So here's information. So if I was to cite this, I could click here, cite on EasyVib. Again, my window would pop up. I can move this and it'll probably send some of the citation information. I can fill that in. All that information's right there. All right, so let's say I was gonna use this picture. Now again, save image as, and I'll throw this in that same folder. The other place you could save pictures, if you're not working, or if you are working on your Chromebook, when I do save image, I can save right into Drive, just like I am right now, or the downloads folder. If I download something, it just gets stored on that Chromebook. Sometimes it's better to put things into Google Drive because then you can get access to it no matter what computer or what device you're using. But if you just know you're doing your project only on your Chromebook, you could save in the downloads folder. And again, same thing, you could make a new folder here and then you know call it whatever the project is, save everything in there so it's all in one place. So no matter where you save on your Chromebook downloads or my drive, those images will be sitting there waiting for you. I'm gonna throw that in there just to show that as an example. Okay, so now if we go back to our Animoto project and I go to upload pictures and video, now I see the same file manager here. So I can either go to my downloads and pick that picture, or if I know I've got my pictures here, I can. And what's nice is if you shift click, so I click on the first one and then I hold shift and I click on the second one, it's gonna mass select and then I can hit open and it's gonna bring those pictures right in, whether it's from Drive or whether it's from your downloads folder. So that is how you can download images on your while using your Chromebook and then take them into another service like Animoto for using in your project. And that is it. Thanks for watching.